A New Untold Story, episode 572. Wait, wait, wait real quick. Yeah. Rudy to clap as well. So. Rudy to clap as well. Ready? Three, two, one. Clap. That good? You want me to you're exactly reply to what I'm going to say? No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story old or told? Fuck no, baby! It's a new one told story. A new one told story. It's a fresh big untold story. A new one told story episode 570 72. No. Episode 357. I swore we were in the fives. No, you didn't. 357 is not an area code. That we've been in an area code uh, an area code yeah, doldrum. When we'll revert back to one today, but 357 is a model of handgun. Yeah. That's right. Um, now, if you will all bow your heads in steadfast memoriam as I read a lengthy list of American children who were tragically oh, shot Kyle. dead. No, <laughs> Kyle, dude. By a Smith. Dude. Isabella no, de stop la Stop it, dude. No, no, no dude. This is so. No. Shot dead in 2000. Stop, Kyle, dude. Dreamt Nobody of being the first female vice president of Southwest Airlines. Madison Eubanks, nine, Manassas. It's, nobody free. wants to hear this. This is really sad. Mod Apatow, oh, my lengthy, my fucking apps. Okay, um, that was a joke. Um, <laughs> were those real names? Those were not real names. You just said Mod Apatow, so I that my, got it's... too ambitious with the list, and uh, Mod Apatow spotted at Jack's wife Frida with Glenn Quagmire. <laughs> we'll get to that later. <laughs> uh, we're here with Pilar. She is, she's gracing us with her uh, presence for the first little section of this to do uh, more T-shirt reviews. Uh, sorry for the audio listeners. We'll try to be as descriptive as possible. Before we get into that, uh, today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Kyle? The Eagles featuring Steely Dan. My parents are getting their dream vacation in their early 60s because of me, because of Game Time, mm -hmm. because of the discount that afforded me to buy them that gift. I use Game Time with Rudy to go to the uh, preseason Bears game. And boy, do you... Yeah. Preseason preseason football games worth every penny. Yeah, but I wasn't spending too many talent. pennies. It's fun. It's still, You're seeing it's guys that football. might be cut. It's the best football players still in the world the, playing. These in are front dudes of your eyes. playing for their careers. It's the modern day right. coliseum. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, yeah, game time created by fans for fans. It's possible to get any ticket you need and want with the game time app. Uh, the biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. Skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. Download Game Time or go to the website, enter your email and redeem code UNTOLD, U-N-T-O-L-D, for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Untold. Pilar. Yep. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. Uh, this is probably the this is definitely the last one before we move away. Yeah, I'm really sad. Are you Are, guys excited to move to Chicago? Very excited. Are That's you, good. You're sad? What? Talking what, to the mic. what are you doing? Oh, I'm right talking to the mic. There you go. Uh, okay. What did you say to us before we started recording? I don't know. Something about Mook's really good idea. Oh, yes. What was Mook's really good Mook's idea? Mook's really good idea. What could this be? It's like Alexander's really good day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we've had a site-wide sale for the past two days on the Barstool store. 20% off. It's over now. It's over now. Um, But... Mook had the idea, great idea yesterday to turn the Untell This Bitch shirt back not live. Not my idea. Not my idea. Nick's idea. Did Mook claim uh, my idea? I did not claim it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did Mook claim my idea? That's a surface level good idea. You couldn't even get to that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right. Let me take a moment it was selling to like check wildfire. the records. Fire. Why was it taken off the store? Nick came up with the idea. Um, because it stopped selling and we have uh, to keep the store clean for SKU productivity. Did it restart? Oh, for SKU productivity. Right. Um, it did. I believe yesterday ended the day selling over 50 units. Does that just mean 50 shirts? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Kind of we don't unit like shirt. One unit was a bundle of shirts. Yeah, I thought one unit was 100. 50 is a lot. 50 for more. Shirt. It's a good shirt, though. Did you guys just hear that siren? Yeah. Okay. What? Yeah, of course. It was loud. You're the furthest from it. Um, I don't have my text with Mook anymore. What? Oh, wait, I found oh, it. Wait, 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 wait a minute. You, you don't, don't have his number saved. No, I have it saved. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Did you say good idea, Mook, and he said thank you? I said, 
or he said, Hey, Pilar, it's Mook. Any chance we can get the Untell This Bitch shirt up for the 20% off sale? Think people would buy it. I said, even though you put my name on the internet, yeah. Oh, she wasn't happy with you. And then I said, tell them it's only available during the sale. So also by the time this comes out, it won't be on the site anymore. Gone forever. Um, We'll have some new ones potentially. And then I hyped up his promo for the sale. Oh, his promo was good. Okay. No, it was a good idea. Yeah. Not my idea. Oh, Nick no, but, it up no I brought it up, but I would have never number. thought to text you. Why? You're mean texter. No, I'm not. Mm. I don't think so. Okay. Um. Anyways, let's get into these. Uh, what? Should, how many can we put? In the, so the last one we did, we asked for Kyle face. I never got a great picture of Kyle's face, so we couldn't make it. What? So that's my one thing: is if we want to make <laughs> shirts from these. What do you mean? We need like usable artwork. Yeah, we have. I have it all. Perfect. What? Would, what do you mean a great face? It was too great, low resolution. That's that's the point of. But it, it was like. It was too low. Like it wasn't. Would have just been like a beige shirt with yeah. like a couple squares. Okay. Yeah. That would have been awesome. But like if people saw it from afar, it would look like Kyle. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, these we're more excited about. Have you seen I've any only, of these, Kyle? I've only have heard about them. Okay. That's alarming. Hmm. Something happened, Mook. Yeah. Hey, we're getting there. Wait a minute. Something good. So what we're about I mean, to see, huh. from what I know, is the the BDDB, the black. Well, dick. some of some some oh, okay. some some. Yeah. And are you familiar with with what I'm about to say? Nope. Your okay. face has become a reaction on the Discord. Oh. You can, you can react with your face, which is crazy because you're you like if you're I have a private Instagram. I don't know how people found you. Oh. What? Screen just like glitched out. Rudy. Are you? Thank you for joining us from I guess heaven. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? I guess. Oh wait, my mic just. I guess rest in peace to Rudy. My mic keeps cutting out. That is. We can't have the TV and the mic going at the same time. Uh, uh, Where did your pores go? I don't know. I think I did almost die last week. I almost accidentally suicided. So maybe I did actually die. Accidental suicide is just dying. <clears throat> what, what you do? I was taking my vitamins and I guess that I must have bumped my stove and for about four hours I was trying to sleep and just felt really weird. Turns out I was the weird feeling was dying. You, and you uh, turn your stove on unintentionally. Yeah. Do with, you think that since you're in a handicapped equipped apartment um, unit that it it just requires a hand clap or a, a motion sensor to turn it on? I don't know. I think it must have been them being lower and my hip hitting it. Um, not totally sure. But then my entire apartment filled with gas. And my windows oh my were fogged. God. Nothing fucking works in this fucking oh, office. Yeah, sorry, we're working oh, on this. Television. Especially the people. Is that why you're <laughs> moving to Chicago? I mean, the, we can't have an HDMI that works. What the fuck? Oh, wait, Mook is back. Except, yeah, it's back, Mook. I'll just be really That's gentle. Yeah. Why don't you put your laptop flat on your lap? Mm. Okay. Go. All right. So we have the new untold submissions, Pilar. Okay. I'd like to apologize for the technical difficulties. Don't apologize. Yeah. Don't apologize. All right. So first up, we have the Polish collection. Okay. So as you know, Kyle came out as Polish. Okay. And then he, well, a couple of weeks later, he can't. He said that he's not Polish at all. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I, fuck Poland. Slovenian. Yeah. So it's a three shirt bundle. Okay. Uh, it comes with perfectly Polish. <laughs> yeah. I lied about I being Polish this. and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and then just a not Polish. <laughs> <laughs> Who made this? I don't know. That's amazing. So it's a three shirt bundle. Okay. Right. So you have to. So that's already three units when you buy one. Right. Yeah. And then you. it's like for people to prank. Like you walk in, it's like, damn, I didn't know you were Polish. I'm like, yeah, I'm per proud of it. Yeah. And then you wear that the next day. I oh. lied about being Polish and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and then they're like, okay, weird. And then just for the rest of the time, yeah. for the rest of your days, you wear not just Polish. Just firmly cement that they have been successfully pranked. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. And the, yeah. What do you think? Has anybody ever sold a three shirt bundle before? Yeah. ZBT actually did. <gasps> Last fall. What do they just sell? Um, they're like shirts with their logo on it that are in colors that uh, like army people can wear. And how did under that, did that do well? It sold. 
Yeah. So so this would too. Go. So my one thing on this one is it's probably going to cost like a customer seventy five dollars for all three. Yeah. Because well, it, everybody but the Polacks have money. Okay. So this is fine. Seventy five dollars for like two days of prank wear, one day of in your or one like infinity days of in right. your face. Okay. Not I get Polish. the third. Sh- so these are. Here's what here's the catch. Mm-hmm. It's two shirts you only get to wear once, but then the last shirt is a shirt you never have to change out of. Not necessarily because you can prank several people. Oh my god. Yeah. So that's a more a bigger bang for your buck. Right. Exactly. Seventy five seems reasonable. Okay. So we could have a not yeah. Polish collection or Polish what what would we call it on the store? It's the Polish collection. The, and then the, Polish the not yeah. Polish shirt should kind of be hidden because you don't want to ruin the prank. Oh, you're right. Okay, cool. So potential? Yes. Okay. Boy, big time? Not a big time. Just yeah. not a hard maybe. So this next collection, it's crazy. Uh, me and Kyle have been on the show the entire time. Mm-hmm. Hardly any shirts with us on it. But I had yeah. to narrow down all the fucking Mook <laughs> shirts. <laughs> <They're so bad. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I had to I had to like I had to cut like 50 of these. Let's go beast. Right. So there's right. some really good ones. <laughs> Okay. So this one, uh, the first one is Mook when he was a fat child <laughs> yep. over, oh, yeah, uh, over I think, Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> and it said, someone, I had, I had someone tell me I fell off. Oh, I needed that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with a fat baby Mook. I really like this one. Mook yeah, with yeah. a picture of Dave Portnoy, Portnoy underneath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that could like cause havoc. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That for, could cause havoc. budding fans. Um, this one is Syndrome from, I think, The Incredibles. Yeah. yeah. And it says, when everyone is Mook, no one will be. <laughs> does that mean we have yeah. the baba mook okay <laughs> um, the mook of non king <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe, maybe not. so they were so this one's a historical one yeah i think we skipped this one so, <laughs> Can you describe this why for the would, audio why, so it's mook over an atomic bomb blast but it says the mook of nanking which was a horrible, horrible tragedy. Yeah. Um, but it is a really clever play on words because right. Mook, Mook does sound a ton like <laughs> and it's a oh. V-neck. <laughs> okay. I think uh, we skipped that one completely. This one is Good. predicting when Mook will die. It's forever in our hearts, Connor Mook, uh, October 31st, 1991 to March 1st, 2037. What the fuck? <laughs> gone, but not gone, but not forgotten. I feel like your mom would really not like that one. Yeah. No, for sure not. So um, it's bank. Is that your actual birthday? Not a chance. No, you're not born. even close. <laughs> it's it's not 30 30 years old. You'd be 32. Yeah. 31. Yeah, 32. I'm not in what, 96? 97? 2001. Oh my God. No. No. I've just been, that's my, I just tell people different birthdays now. That's what I'm doing. But, so this one is October 31st, 91, but it's predicting your death. Yeah. How do you think I'm going to die? I don't know because that's not like too young. To where it's, you, that's an age where it could be anything besides right. SIDS. How do you feel about that being the best picture of you? The one that will be used in your <laughs> obituary? I'll, I'll take it because there are a lot worse. Uh, yeah. And I think, oh, uh, yeah, I think that's all for the MOOC to collect. Oh, oh, man, I really. <laughs> yeah, we'll get these up. The Humpty Dumpty. So if we had to choose any of these, what do you think? You yeah. have to pick three and two of them you can't choose. The one Are you speaking in riddle right yeah, now? Well, what do you mean? We, we, you have to pick three, but yeah. two you can't choose. No, one. The one with Dave is a no. The one in the bottom right is a no. <laughs> Wait, and then the Mook of Nanking is a no. Nick and KB, you have to ask Mook's mom's permission for the Forever in Our Hearts. I one. would like the Forever in Our I Hearts. I like the memorial. I like because yeah. like, but they could wear his death shirt to his funeral as a vintage piece. What if that's never, mind, never been done? Say something kind of dark. What? What Rude. if he dies before? Yeah. I guess free returns. Yeah, this is fine. Fix the birthday. Um, I'd have to ask Fix our the customer birthday. service department, but. Fix the birthday. And maybe instead of gone, but not forgotten, just gone. Gone. But <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why can't we use the Dave shirt? Do you want to ask for approval yourself? You think boss man would give me copyright clearances? I got boss man would give you some flack. Some flack? Ask him for a collab tea. Okay. Yeah. Please don't do that. Yeah, no, do that. Ask him for a collab tea. We'll film you. I'll hit him up. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> what about gone or not forgotten? <laughs> yeah. One of the two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not, it is true. It's, it's either like a or. death shirt. All right. Yeah. So I think 
I really like the Mook Death Tea. Yeah, especially people have been clamoring for another Mook shirt since it's been taken out of the store. Yeah. So I think uh, this one's probably pretty good. Would your family all buy this one? Dude, my family came out strong this weekend at stand up and wore like 11 of them wore shirts. But they also were wearing the fake nose mustache that glasses was, that was their disguise 11 because you brought the like the extendo kin we, we, <laughs> <laughs> who was who was in that bunch we had 11 like uh mom dad aunts uncles cousins and then we had another six or seven of just like random bulls okay yeah. awesome yeah and i've heard so they had things. to wear disguises uh who who's that huge group of redheads in the mook shirt <laughs> 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 well, we can never tell who those guys are yeah Oh man! Did they laugh in front of you, or did you did you I, bomb? I didn't notice they were there. Thank God. Yeah. What? Because you can't see anything oh, on okay. stage. And would you have changed anything up? Yeah. Did you say fuck or pussy on stage? Yeah. Did you talk about fucking pussy? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I, talk, I talked about a lot of stuff that mommy and daddy weren't happy about. <laughs> quit saying. Ew, quit, yeah. quit saying that. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, we have the Grinkus collection. Okay. So it's a menu item we have. Some of these are actually really good. Wow, those look official. The Untold Restaurant and Pizzeria, biggest grink, biggest uh, Gartuzo on the menu. Oh, that's sick. It's really sick. Well, that looks good. I think that's yeah. awesome. Okay. Um, the only issues are white t-shirts might as well be clear. Okay. We have a portly fan base. Um, <laughs> this next one's like kind of Asian-y with a wheat green right, cause ask yeah. for the special. It's like Cooking Mama. Did you ever play Cooking Mama on your Nintendo DS? I didn't have a Nintendo DS. Yes. What? How'd you game? I wasn't really allowed to play video games. Where are you from? The Philly area. Why you weren't allowed to play video games? Yeah, what? What'd you do as a kid? Was it like play a outside? religion thing? No. I play outside, do sports, read. Yeah, but like I know. I played the Wii. Okay, that's a video game. Okay. Undeniably. Uh if you can't Amish country? No. Lancaster. Okay. If you can't handle me at my Grinkus, then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my Gartuzo. <laughs> no, the words aren't there. The, the words, words aren't there. Just pictures it's just of two the pictures of items. strange foods. I, I think, think this one's pretty that cool. One. Whoa. Curveball. Okay. Um, okay. We'll trade sister for wheat Grinkus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Pretty good. Um, cool, cool untold story, babe. Now make me a wheat <laughs> Grinkus. <laughs> Uh oh. 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 Yeah. I think that one's pretty good because it's a play on like the cool story, babe. Yeah. yeah. Make me a sandwich. But this yeah. one's like. And I like where it's placed on, I guess, this football, these football pads. <laughs> yeah, it's, <looking laughs> <right away. laughs> it's a practice jersey. It's a practice. Yeah. So I think if we can we put out a practice jersey? Um, we can Whoa. do basketball jerseys. Oh. That changes yeah. everything. Yeah. It does. A mook death basketball jersey. <laughs> You know that's the one that's going to be in the store, right? Yeah, well, yeah. I, I don't know how to feel about it at all. It's a, you have a yeah. lot more time left. Yeah, but not that much. <laughs> no, but it, like it's not like <laughs> yeah. No, it's not morbid yet. I'm curious whoever made it how they think I'm going to die. We should reach out to them. Yeah. Um. Next up, we have just other pod references. So mm -hmm. I really like this one. Okay. This is a play on ACDC, mm -hmm. but it's a Chris D Chris a. <laughs> Oh, for those yeah. about to Chris, we Chris you with the ACDC yeah. cover. Sorry, I it's was looking at an email. No, it's good. Um, this is pretty cool, right? What's the backstory on Chris? It was a summer of Chris okay. Um, at... Okay. <laughs> I'm sure. yeah. I trust yeah. you. Yeah, so All right, yeah. We, <laughs> wow, you got like, it faster we than most 3,000 words of explanation. <laughs> Handling, handling I think I'm ready, better. She I think just I'm got better. it. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, you get oh, it. You got a summer Are you sure you get it? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't it. understand. really explain this <laughs> no, no, to no, you. I don't yeah. understand at all, but I don't no, really no, want yeah. to understand. Oh, sure. Okay. okay yeah. All right. This one's pretty cool, too. It's I think it's the same guy that made the other one. Ooh, yeah. Untold pizza and seafood, and it's a shark oh. eating... Uh, is that pumpernickel? Why is there a pumpernickel? Yeah, piece of... Could be Gartuzo. Oh, I think it might be Gartuzo and an arm. A $5 mini or jumbos every Thursday. New York City's largest Gartuzo. That's a fuck That's ton of references like, on one yeah, T. Yeah, and it looks good. What it's is spelled Gartuzo, right? Oh, Garmtuzo. Oh, it's different. It's Oh, with the arm. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a different. Oh, oh, Garmtuzo. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's cool. This is like referenced out. That's man. a reference ass shirt. That's sick. Um, cool. What about just a hat? So no. <laughs> wait a minute. So <laughs> the one of the yes. best sellers in the store is the girl dad hats. Yeah. Right. Over and over, number one seller that. Right. Um, that 
busting with the boys sells. Right. They've hit merch bonus after merch bonus. Sure. Why why don't we have black uncle hats? Right. Uh because should we... it just say unk? Black unk. <laughs> would you rather it just say black unk? I think maybe just unk would suffice. <laughs> I think that's I think they get that it's black yeah, if it's yeah, just yeah. unk. But no, so like a girl dad, it's a dad of a girl, and a black uncle is an uncle of a black boy. Could be any race. Kyle's and a black And that's uncle. me. And I would like to, my family, extended family, would like me to uh, end them. They would like to rock it themselves. Okay. Um. So once someone on this podcast becomes an uncle. Kyle is. I Kyle's just, a black. Yeah, he just yeah, said. Yeah, How did you not understand that, but understood Summer of Chris immediately? <laughs> black uncle is pretty straightforward. Do you have a photo of you? Well, uh, yeah. I'll look into it. Seriously? No. Why? Yeah, why? Because this is pretty. Is the word cool. black daunting to you? No. Okay. <laughs> Can we just have an unk hat then? UNC? Um, Tar heel on the top? Yeah. Maybe. Can okay. we put out an unk hat? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Reed, I know you'd rock the unk hat. This would mean a lot to Henry. Henry. That Henry would be Jasper. his nephew. Oh. Yeah. Okay. His middle name's Jasper? Wait, so are, would you get that for your nephew or would you wear that? Uh, that's something that I would wear. Okay. Like in, at his yeah, party, he's the black uncle. Birthday parties, yeah. He would just have a he would just have a hat that says nephew. Got it. Now this one has never been a pod reference, but I thought it was a funny shirt. This one just says free UTIs. <laughs> um <laughs> yeah, that's a, a straightforward boardwalk just, shirt. Just free yeah. UTIs. Yeah. Uh no. Okay. I understand. That's not like a pod reference, like the black uncle hat. Um, this one's sick. Follow protocol, oh, protocol, wow. the quest for perfection. Um, sure. We could get rid of the cock and balls yeah, no. or keep if we, <laughs> and that's my face on the Vesuvius man. Uh, Vitruvian. Yeah. <laughs> Vesuvius yeah. was a, a volcano. Eruption. Yes. Eruption, yeah. The Vitruvian man. So it's the perfect man. Uh, mm -hmm. I think this one would sell. Okay. That's cool. And artsy. What could we do about the cock? Um, it's I up to Kyle. Fine. I think that's Wait, Kyle, you're, you're fine putting a cock on the store? Um, I need to ask my boss. That's Can you call them right now? She's not here. Can you call her? No. Please. Just be like, hey, like the anus she's, guys have um, a really good shirt idea, but it does have a cock on she's it. She's out of office today. A realistic cock. It is to size. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. That, that wasn't, is, I didn't know that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> no, I thought that was, that was kind of a cup. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. I thought that next, was kind of a brag. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, we all think it's small and you thought yeah, it was Yeah, I thought that was it. It's going past the balls. <laughs> no, it's not. It's damn near. Well, it's the same length. <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost taller than the ball. <laughs> it's it's, it's yeah. uncut, though. It has enough length for a taper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your dick's not long enough for a taper. I apologize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh uh, yeah, it says Kyle. It's awesome. That shirt is perfect. Okay. okay. Yeah. This one's cool. Uh it has a surfboard on the front that's bitten out, but the blue raspberry surf club. Yeah. It's a little late for in out of season, right? Nobody's gonna it's the, Should we try like a ski club and get it ready for winter? We have we have we talked is there any skiers that have had their arms bitten <laughs> off by like a yeti? Um <laughs> And now I think we have to do the surf club. Okay. Next, uh, yeah. So maybe next summer. Okay. That's fine. Because yeah. I like, out of this batch, I like Kyle's yeah, cock. We'll keep that. Yeah, me Kyle's too. huge fucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else on this? I'm blushing. <laughs> All right. The next one is, okay. So right. we have a saying on the pod that it's black dick don't burn. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but so we... You know, you can't really put that on <laughs> you can't really put that on a shirt. Yeah, I um, agree. So just BD, ba -da -da -ba. DB. Okay. BD... DB. Yeah. Okay. Um, but what the fans have decided to do is they want, they're all fans of the pod, mm -hmm. but there's like a rivalry between cities who has the strongest blue raspberry guys. Okay. And so these all have city editions. So the people of their respective city would have their black dick don't burn shirts. Okay. Right. And so you understand, do you understand the saying like a black cock since it's. So nope. We can keep going though. Okay. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so um, we have New York. Oh my God. Yeah, and so, <laughs> run of the mill, <laughs> run of the mill, just the skyline the sky of New York, the Statue of Liberty, and, and then the sun, the sun and then the two black, two okay. black dicks. Okay, so yeah. pretty. It's a really cool design. It's comfort color, so that's the brand. So this person, I think this came from the calls coming from inside the house. Okay, yeah. I think Greer, 
Um, the ne- next one is like, so we're our hometown. And we that's have to, like the colorway and like it's kind of yeah, it's good silhouette. It's cool looking. It's sleek. Well, I think one of the cocks is coming. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Um, Further proof that it's not in the process of burning or sweltering no. in any if a do- manner. If a dick yeah. was burning, it certainly it wouldn't be come. It wouldn't be mid ejaculate. Okay. No. Yeah. And <laughs> this one, next one's wheeling, so it's repping me and Kyle. Right. And I'm going to be in wheeling, wheeling, West Virginia in, in a couple the, weeks. The flag of rough and yes. No. What are you going to be there for? A wedding. Oh. Who's getting married? Um, one of my best friends from growing up and is getting married in Wheeling. Yeah. Is, uh, is her groom? Is her groom? A, a uh, wheeling? his fiance is from Wheeling. You're going to a gay wedding in Wheeling? No. Yeah, her, her friend is the man. Yeah, my friend is the oh. groom. And we, <laughs> I forgot and we girls probably can... know the groom. We 100 percent or do. know the bride. Which is dangerous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say who? <laughs> no, I'm not going to say her name. After yeah. the pod. Yeah. So this one's just me and Kyle as the heads of the, the dicks, mm-hmm. which does make sense because we're not black. No. Two, yeah. two pimples, white heads and not burning, <laughs> but they're at the top of the cocks. I'm okay. on the left. He's on the right. Yeah. Wheeling has a great flag, by the, the way. One of the best. One of the best city flags. Better than most of the state flags. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Uh, so they, some people we have uh, international, wow. so you know wow. land of the this rising sun. This looks really good. Yeah. So black dick don't burn Japan. <laughs> yeah. For all the guys in Japan that listen and yeah. believe in the motto that black dick don't burn. Uh, that's the best design. You think that's the best design? I like it. I don't know. Um, design that. Wait much. until you see Dubai. Okay. <laughs> um, next up is Philly. Okay. Look simple. at that. So we got Philly fans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No birds. So it's just the Statue of Liberty. Black dick don't burn. That's not the Statue of Liberty. No. Uh, that's the yeah, Liberty Bell. Liberty Thank Bell. you. Sorry. Um, yeah. And it's pretty cool. It's just got like the, you know, the bell ringer down here is the. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yay, nay. Can we put that in the store? That one? Yeah. That I guess one you have is... two. I, you might need to call your boss and just be like, hey, yeah. there's like eight cock shirts. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't like sugarcoat it in the email. I would actually say there was 10 cock shirts. Okay. So she's like. And I would like almost force her hand let me, let me metaphorically. Text her a picture right now. Force her hand metaphorically. Yeah, just be like, hey, like the guys have 10 cock shirts. Maybe we just pick out three. We can give a presentation to them too. Yeah, I would gladly do that. It doesn't even have to be filmed. But I'd like Can it we to. make it filmed? Yes. Okay. So wait, can so yeah, I'm so asking, you don't get in trouble. I'm asking my boss right now. Mm-hmm. What do you, oh, can you tell us what you're texting? So they want to know if they can put cocks on the store. We have, no, we have 20 cocks. We have 20 Say there's shirts. about 20 shirts with a cock with on the, each. The sometimes cock silhouette. And I we, just said, we can and we, make more. And we get to narrow it down to three. <laughs> we don't have to use We're all not 20. narrowing the cocks themselves, just no, the decisions. I already said I would like them to be the same width they are. Can, can you just do tech, voice to speech and we'll say it? Um. Here, do you want to just do a video? No, no, no video. I, I want to keep this. I don't want her to think we're like joking. Who was this, Allison? Mm-hmm. Allison, um, we have about twenty cocks, uh, twenty total cocks over about fifteen shirts. We'd like to have them on the store. Um, just need your okay. You can pick out three of the shirts. You get to decide how many. Three is the limit. So like one, two, three. Which one? How many? Yeah. Uh, we if you like them all, they're all twenty up. Fuck it. Yeah. Who cares? Just um, tell us if one, two, or three. Cool. Uh, next is Black Dick Don't Burn Denver for Rudy. Rudy, what building would this big black cock be? Uh, this color palette's great. That was great. But I think they use the this the BDDB looks like the uh, Flappy Bird font or maybe Crossy Road font. Don't love that. But yeah, it's like a I can't see it that good, but it's like an eight what's bit. He saying? Uh, he's he's saying it's a good shirt. He said it looks like Denver. <laughs> the cock's taller than the mountain, as it should be. Well, which is very far. It's a deceivingly flat city. Yeah, it yeah. looks good. I think it looks damn it looks good. good. Like, like color gear. scheme looks yeah, nice. Yeah. It, it would go well with like a Patagonia vest. I I feel honored. That's, That's nice. Uh, Black dick don't burn Boston, of course. Nice. White. Right. That one's more realistic dick. <laughs> um, That's like their Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I we have a huge Boston fan base. Yeah. But luckily, mm-hmm. like that's we're good with the Black dick don't burn. Okay. Move on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have Black Dick Don't Burn City Editions continued. (laughs) (laughs) And this one is Saffron City from Pokemon, Mm, which is sick. It's the same cock from Boston. The same cock from Boston. For (laughs) sure. That sounds like like an old timey song. Same cock from Boston. (laughs) Sing it. It really pops compared to the Boston skyline. Definitely. There's a Porygon Mm -hmm. there. Silph Co. 
where he gets self scope yeah, so he can see ghosts. Self-co in there. <laughs> Shut the fuck. Leave it yeah. to me. Okay. Um, Black Dick Don't Burn Dubai. Oh, look oh, at look that. Because we have a ton of like oil barons that listen to the pod. Really? Yeah, yeah. Exciting. And this one, you don't even have to make the dick black because the shirt's brown. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, I guess, saving money. Yeah, you could say that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Do you want us to stop showing you these ones? No, it's okay. All right. Sick out. <laughs> Luckily, Weird. Enrique is HR. Yeah, thank God. Well, I don't see the oh, issue. Oh, and the classic Miami, Miami Vice, Vice color palette. Color palette. Black dicks don't burn Miami. Lame. What? All right. We'll use Miami. That was cool, I thought. Oh, Can you uh, wiggle oh, the Oh, Zimbabwe is Zimbabwe. the one I love. Yeah, nice. They already know. So I don't know if this yeah. would be a, like redundant. Like, yeah, no shit. Yeah. Can Dumb shirt. leaning on the cord? Oh, is it making it go crazy? Are mm-hmm. they make, making a move? <laughs> yeah, the cocks are moving. It's 3D. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Maybe we can get Za in here to. He's probably seen this cock. <laughs> <laughs> I think that yeah. might be all. Those are all the cocks. And then finally, some blue raspberry guys. What'd she say? If the Polarmy wants it, they deserve it. Wow, oh, we did put a cock okay, on the store. Yeah, I was not expecting three, that answer. Yeah. We're not going who's buying these? Nobody's if we sell 10, I'm floored. No, I think we can sell a lot. What the fuck? Do you th- There's I actual cocks the, on them. But some of them are like vague enough for it. To- which one is <laughs> which one is vague enough, dude? Japan. Like, people don't look at shirts like I think the think Philly one. Do. There's yeah, there's a Japan is vague. Japan. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um all right, the next one's just the blue raspberry. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a girls chat. There was in our in our group that, they, that. Want, they want to have a girls blue raspberry girl shirt. So I think that's yeah. a pretty cool graphic. I really like this. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And then somebody had AI recreate a blue raspberry guy, and what it was is what it, the result was was so haunting mm-hmm. that I thought it was fucking awesome. So sick. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> I think that's yeah. sick. It's like a fleshy berry, but the blue arms and legs. It's holding. I think a part a of itself. Baby looks uh, like my grandma. Does it? It looks like an odd like future shirt. It does look like an odd. It looks like something from the Stinky Cheese Man. I think that's sick. Mm-hmm. I'd rather do the girl one. That's we'll do the, okay. Let's do the girl. Design. They want it on a crew neck. But that's a full design. We'll put okay. that on a crew. And I think the last one is just the Palarmi shirt. We can skip these. Look at this. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at that. Come on. And none of us made these. Wow. Pilar, please put the shirt in the store. Thank you. <laughs> well, you could spell my name right. Oh, double L'd. The few, the proud, the Pilar me. <laughs> Look at that. No. Okay. What about that take... middle one? No, definitely take a not. Picture. No. I'm talking to Pete, actually. He needs help. All business? Yeah. yeah. Well, that was the last one. So can we just pick out? Yes. We'll do Blue Raspberry Gal. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you want to, which which black did? <laughs> I so, I think Philly was sick, and it was like the most subtle. I do like Philly. I think Philly would sell the most. I like Japan the most. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I like Japan a lot. I like Japan I a lot Japan. too. But what are we like? That's a really big cock on the shirt. But I don't know. I think that's. Do you think you could wear that shirt in, for a day and people wouldn't? Not, no, I not think that's more would. subtle than the untell this bitch with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's uh, we, let's let yeah, the fans do decide. Two, okay. I also don't think people will see that shirt and be like, "Why is there a cock on his shirt?" I think they're just no. gonna be like, "What is that?" What's the shirt? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I think as awesome as this one is, I don't want to do a white shirt. So I think we do Mook Death. I'll redesign yeah. this to be a little bit cleaner, okay. and we'll do a Mook Death shirt. So can we okay. send you those three? Yeah. And it, the, this HDMI just died, so. I think we're good. What about the first ones we looked at before Mook? The Polish. Oh, you like those? Yeah. yeah. The Pol- oh, the Whoa. Polish bundle. <laughs> the and Polish bundle. One. Yeah. The one unit. All right. And then we can maybe redesign these so maybe it's just the Polish flag. And so it doesn't have to be this big dip of red. Okay. And we can keep the cost down. Yeah, that will help. Okay, cool. I'll redesign those. So Polish bundle. Yes. Mook dying. One black dick. You have to get the approval from Mook's mom for Mook dying. Mook, can you call her right now? She's going to be down for that. Mook, can you call her, give her a call right now while Pilar's in the room? Yeah. Pilar, we've taken too much of your time already, I'm sure. Yeah, it's okay. (laughs) Okay. Didn't have to say yeah, then. (laughs) She might be bartending. What? (laughs) What? What a twist this is. Hey, mom, you're on anus. 
What? You're on anus. I'm on what? How do you feel about merch being made of me that says like R.I.P. Mook? Hold on, I'm going out back. Hold on. I can't hear you. Okay, she's muted right now. You're live on anus. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi, uh, everybody. How do you yeah. feel about a Hi. death shirt being made of me? A death? Yeah, can shirt? you describe it? It's a picture of Connor's face. And it has his birthday, and then it's saying "rest in peace," and then it's having he dies in twenty thirty seven. No, 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 no. no. I think that. <laughs> what about a Mook's mom shirt? Oh, okay. right. what should we put on it? Uh, hmm. how many would we sell? Probably ten. I think yeah, eleven to the fam. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think the in memoriam yeah. shirt would would sell a lot. Yeah, I think we're gonna move plus. units with the in memoriam mom. So it's I'm about sorry. moving weight. In memoriam for you from twenty thirty seven. Yeah, just I'll, realistic how enough. How old will you be? I don't know. Huh. Wait, do the math. Uh, uh, that's like an omen. Thirty nine. Thirty nine. Yeah. No. Forty. 41. Gonna, Sorry, 41. Gonna, we shouldn't do it. Why? Are you going to have eyebrows and eyelashes? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hang up now, Mom. It's been real. Thank you for answering. Put the phone down. Have a, have a well, good... Uh, you. Love you, too. Well, Bye. Nice lady. Wow. No, no, no. no. Yeah, she, she sounded like mayor of East Town. D- yeah. Died at 41 is incredible. the best age to die. Kobe. Alan Turing. Chester Bennington, Amelia Earhart, Jane Austen, Richard the First, Magellan. Magellan. That's a good Magellan. crop. Yeah. Nate Dog. Nate. Oh. Yeah, that's a good at. Okay, so Patrice O'Neill. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. He's These down. guys are immortal. Yeah. Big boss man. All right. So your mom was cool with that. No, she was not. I respect Mook's mom. Your mom's a bartender? Yeah, she does it for fun. What? She she was a bartender like growing up and she did occupational therapy for a while. And then, you know, my dad uh came through with the bag and now she she was a stay at home mom. Daddy came through with the bag. Now she's yeah, bored. No, I get and, it. Bartending would be pretty fun on some I think occasions. so too. Yeah. And now Where she does bartends. she bartend? Like you can pub? Whoa. leap it out. In Philly. Where in Philly? Uh like northeast. Oh, okay. Yeah. My Irish. parents live. It's like a VFW kind of kind of oh. situation. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. She's a hard <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna bleep that. Yep. Jesus Christ! Yeah, go ahead, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Called okay. her a hard. <laughs> bleep that again. <laughs> Wait a minute! Just well, who no. calls their mom a hard? <laughs> what's that? What's that mean? You know, it's, it's a good authority. Thing. It's a good. Thing. I know. Yeah, that's, what, yeah. that's what makes it weird. <laughs> no, I, she she grew up tough. She's the tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, She's a, a tough, tough lady. She's a tough lady. I respect her too. Well, Pilar, <laughs> Pilar, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, we're gonna really, really push these. Okay, great. When do we want to go live with them? I'll make the graphic uh, this week. I'll make all. I'll finalize yeah. all the graphics yeah. this week. Okay, cool. All right. Cool. Thank you, Pilar. Oh, thank you. Till next thank time. You. Yeah, that was exciting. Oh, Hello. rookie. <laughs> we're keeping that in. Mm-hmm. All right. We're keeping that in. Okay. Big thank you to Pilar. Mm-hmm. Be sure to add her thank on you. LinkedIn. Yep. Add her on LinkedIn and Instagram, Facebook, all socials. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to DM her, just submit a shirt. I, that felt a little HRE. We were just like, hey, come in here. We're going to show you some stuff. And it was just all cocks. Yeah. It's all black dicks. That could have, that might, right now, that might be a bad look. We'll Can we show those on Instagram? I mean, on, um, uh, YouTube. I might have to do a yeah, little blur job, but I think we're. Fine. I think you can definitely do artists' renditions. Yeah, uh, that's what those were. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you can't do actual. Oh, I thought you wanted somebody penises. To, uh, yeah, a drawing of the t-shirts. Um, <clears throat> this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Mm-hmm. Uh, forget everything I just said prior. Well, besides that, oh boy. Um, but BetterHelp. Sometimes we're stressed, overwhelmed, too much going on in our lives. Maybe you're thinking about a career change, feeling like a relationship needs some TLC. Whatever it is, therapy can help you map out your future and trust yourself to find a way forward. Um, Everybody I talk to, everybody has a therapist, no matter if they're a podcaster, if they're a a garbage man, if they're a pro skateboarder. Uh, Everybody I know has a therapist and it benefits them in different ways. 
Uh, if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched with a licensed therapist, and switch therapists at any time with no additional charge. You can go and go and switch and switch until you find your right one. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash new N-E-W today to get 10% off your first non- month. That's BetterHelp.com slash new. Thank you to those guys. Yes. What else is going on, KB? Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Better at hacky sacking than you. Well, no. Yeah. No. I, I got, am. I think I got 40. I will be. I could day. be 40. It's already too visual of an episode. We can't have you hacky sack. No, I won't hacky sack. Um, oh, yeah. 357, not an area code, but um, it's time to revert back to the beginning numerically. And that puts us at 216, which is Cleveland. Cleveland. One of my favorite cities. Cleveland I do area. like it. I've always not at my head at I went to my first bat mitzvah in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And that's the the girl turning bot bar is guy. Mm -hmm. And then Benet is twin. Benet mitzvah. Yep. John Benet mitzvah. Yeah. Interesting. What what's what's a triplet? Uh, Are there Jewish triplets? I don't think I've ever met Jewish twins. Good point. I know a couple of Jewish twins. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know a yeah. couple? Like they're, yeah. this, like, <laughs> Wait a the one pair or two pairs? Uh, two pairs. Two separate wow. pairs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Grew up, I went to like 50 bar mitzvahs growing up. Speaking of twins, the 216 boasts the Twin Festival in Twinsburg, Ohio. Really? Which is part of the 216. So um, mayors can get dry. So, I mean, high school football coaches are on the table, especially with September and the fall coming up. Mm -hmm. And if you want to look at the best programs in Northeast Ohio in the 216, you'd probably think St. Ed's, St. Ignatius. Those are private schools who recruit from all over the state and country. We're going to honor today Glenville High School out of East Cleveland. They are the, they are the Tar Blooders. What? That is their nickname. And it's that is, named that's after a slur. Their teams would whack the tar and blood out of their opponents. So that's the type of team we're dealing with. They combine Tar Heel with Mud Blood. It's cool. Yeah, it is cool. Eastside <laughs> Cleveland. Um, they've been a local juggernaut for decades. And they finally had a, a state title this past season. 15-0. Ooh, congrats. Division four state champions. And their head coach is Ted Ginn senior whoa so we're gonna take a look at ted senior's instagram they have the coolest logo i've ever fucking yeah, seen this is uh, it's a robot inside of the georgia g yeah that is uh a spoiler alert for the heat check oh i'm sorry no that's just a like a you know you know how it's gonna end and his instagram name is coach gin with two n g i n n coach gin okay and let's get everybody a time to oh i mean this guy is Oh and God. we're looking at the fourth most recent, the one where he's posing in front of tribal tapestry, like a little native slut. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, forgive me, Coach Gin, because I'm about to praise you. Trust me. Um, his outfit, uh, as a package, it works. It's cool. It's overwhelming to my brain which means it's good <laughs> yeah um, and we're going to start down south in solon and make our way up to cleveland heights <laughs> uh apologies right off the bat i'm skipping the shoes i'm skipping shoes i don't know what they are i couldn't id them they wow. look like they're cool i don't know what they are but that's a point that's a plus one to the pants burberry london black and white <laughs> plaid print lounge lounge bottoms $125. That's a porterhouse at Marble Room on the low limbs alone. Again, that's the black and white berry. Hallelujah. <laughs> Batman pants. He's got Catwoman on his dick. London bottoms. He's laughing his arse off at you bums. Crisp white tee in the pajama waistband. PJ Tucker with the heat. <laughs> 21, 22. Let's power forward to his jacket. Oh, it is a Sebastian Cruz Couture Black Luna dinner jacket with the silk pocket square. That is $1,395. Oh. 
This man's got the mayor of mentors monthly rent on his back. That's a penthouse in Parma on his person. Four beds, three baths in Berea on his body. A black man's thriving in the Sebastian. Y'all just flounders. <laughs> Wet ass jacket. He'll steal your dame. Y'all can't even afford this blazer. Oh What's on God. neck? What's on neck? What's on neck? The chain. It is a 16 millimeter, 10 karat gold Cuban link state of Louisiana chain estimated at about $15,000. You po' boys don't got enough bread for all those carrots. <laughs> bon me swag. Fu out of here. Trying to compete with a veteran. Ho scheming city. These bitches annoying. <laughs> Ho scheming city. Teddy Sr., 15 bands on the Pelican State chain. That's a Louisiana purchase. He could buy you white boys if he wanted. Where's Thomas Jefferson? Because that's a Mount Rushmore chain. And buy George Teddy's Lincoln. <laughs> To the shades, those are the Horse and Boo Model X Black Tokyos. $945, and they're with the Tortoise Temple. That's the Model X Black Tokyo line. Naomi Osaka Vision, you'd love to see it. Um, I don't know. I could not identify the watch. I think the hat is his own personal logo, maybe. Okay. But I know he is doing the... What is that with his arm? The lightning bolt, I think. Okay. He's, he's got all five fingers extended to the sky. That's a PowerPoint. Ted, talk to him. <laughs> oh. Heat check. Phoenix in August. Oh. He passed like river. Oh. And that's not even including the green suit, whatever. I couldn't identify any of that, but um, yeah, he, the easiest pass of my career. Yeah. He, the, to, my God. Ted Ginn Sr., that was hard. Born in Louisiana, I think. Yeah, That's must why be. He reps the chain. I think his son played for the Saints briefly. Briefly. Yeah. He's doing the uh, Omega Psi. Uh, oh, it's a with fraternity his, it's thing. It's a fraternity thing. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, he's with Anthony Anderson of Kangaroo Jack. Oh, that's who it was. Oh, was that? Okay. Oh, shit. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, various scary movies. Yeah, so Cleveland. Uh, nothing bad to say about him today. Yeah. Shout out Machine Gun Kelly. I guess, yeah. Uh, Halle Berry, Drew Carey. Um, the Paul brothers? Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi. Uh, me. What? Kid Cudi's from Solon, and I worked at the Jimmy John's in Solon and was all around the whole city with my car. Okay, so um, yeah, you're, yeah, counts. Yeah. Counts, counts, counts. Um, this is our second to last episode from New York City. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy feeling. How how have these last weeks felt? Um, going to Chicago was weird. It was like a, you know we've been anticipating this for like a, over a year. Well and over like being there this past week, kind of kind of felt like it was set in stone. It's and, been like looming for a long time because right. I remember when I first got on the yak full time. Big Cat was like, get ready to go to Chicago. I'm like, oh, holy shit. Okay. But when we stepped in the office, got on the yak and like these new unfamiliar like seating arrangements, I kind of, it kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. Like I was anxious, like a new schoolboy. Yeah. Um, I was so nervous. I, right. We down the whole, the like, it just, everything felt new and I felt uh, like a weird imposter syndrome kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited, but nervous. And then I, I also like everyone is like, like everything about Chicago was great. It was mm -hmm. perfect almost. And everything is so exciting and everyone just raves about it. And I kind of don't like that. Yeah. I need some negativity. Download the Citizen app. Mm. That, that I downloaded the, the Citizen shoot. app yeah. uh, it, because my mom made me do it before I went to Chicago. Wasn't really that much going on in my area. I've, I got some scary notifications that happened. Like it tells you like months prior, like those dots stay on the map. Citizen app is just alerts yeah, when there's crime around. Yeah. And then I came back home and I didn't delete it. I came back here and there were like three stabbings outside of my building in the past week. My yeah, building it's that's on Wikipedia in New York, that somebody Manhattan, found. All around us. Yeah. Like outside of this office, like probably one death a day. Yeah. I almost had a death. I almost died today. 
when I was walking out today for lunch, this shirtless, shoeless, homeless man. I don't right. know. I don't know if he was homeless. Maybe he's a shirtless and shoeless man, of course. And he came up and he's like, I'm going to stab you. And I just ran right back in the office. Yeah, they're getting. And the noise I made, I was on the phone yeah. with my buddy Nico. And this guy came up and goes, I'm going to stab you. And I went, ooh. And I ran. <laughs> that's fair. That's a proper Yeah, that's reaction. fair. There's what else are you supposed to do? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> You, didn't you see some crazy shit on it. the on the Citizen app. I remember I used to walk, look at it a lot. And one time at Tompkins Square Park, I saw an alert that said man assaulting people with a fish with a fish. Yeah. You see like every variety of people like I saw men fighting with sticks, men fighting a in sh- an elevator shaft. Fish? Yeah, there's uh, there's a ton of shark. And you, in your head, you're like, these people have been homeless for however long. Like they couldn't their life couldn't get worse, which is sad as hell. Well, jail is a roof. And, and a the, what I'm saying, like, what's like if they stabbed me, I wouldn't even know if that would be morally wrong. They're getting a better life. It would be morally wrong. It would be wrong morally sure. wrong they if, stab if, they, if they stabbed dude. me to death. Well, but, no, no, just a. St- but you got to think like their moral compass. They have nothing like carrying that then go steal something and go to jail don't rob, but they don't, don't like stab. they don't like they have the, had the worst life possible all their life all their lives they don't have any reason to have morals or spiritual beliefs or have any qualms with killing someone if they especially if they were having a psychotic break which that will on happen drugs i think like there is a chance always i have the cushiest life and i'll just fly stab once a year because of a psychotic break my thing is, I think I would kill them back. I would be able to. <laughs> what, what do you mean, kill them back? I think I would. You're already dead. I think w- as I was bleeding out, I would still be able to physically kill them with my set of skills. <laughs> what would you do to them? <laughs> which, which are what? But you just said it's not morally wrong. You'd want them to die. They would stab me. I would do a duck, a duck under, have control of their backside. You'd have a knife in your out. gut, dude. You'd be, no. I think a lot of people, when their adrenaline's so high, they don't even feel the knife. I think I'd be able to finish a kill before <laughs> I died of the... You calling it a kill is creepy. Yeah. I agree with KB here. You'd try to kill? I wouldn't be able to, but KB could, I think. I mean, the man's jacked. The man's jacked, but for what? You could, like, kick... It's, yeah, kick it's, a guy to death with like two kicks like a homeless guy yeah i think i would just stomp on his face yeah. <laughs> yeah then like what if you survived and he died would you live with a guilt no um i think if like somebody broke into my place i would like be too afraid to stab him yeah no what what would you do lock yourself in your room in my place yeah in my studio apartment <laughs> oh yeah. Be, yeah go under the covers right <laughs> no, we're, we're bottom line is we're very safe people we're we're gonna be safe we're gonna be fine yeah yeah the car is the only killer what do you think about the uh atmosphere back here the, it's got weird as fuck dude. yeah they uh it seems like like a harsh staunch competition now between yeah. the two cities because uh i mean they we can compete about uh, against the many, many uh, actual competitors. Yeah. Like media companies. Yeah. Comedy podcasts. And s- but it seems like it's more of a competition, competition between the two cities. Yeah. That's odd because or like it's coworkers, it, it was odd because like, I'm sure there's a natural competition with amongst everybody, even under the same roof. Right. So it I just don't understand went from why like it matters. 45 against live. 45, every man for themselves, pretty much. That's how the landscape is here. Yeah. We all do our own thing and hope. That, I mean, I don't. Everybody wants to be the biggest. Right. So it's, now but it's just not like, one versus one. That's odd. Yeah. Well, I don't think that'll continue. I think no, I don't think so. Either. I think I, the, the more you mention how silly that is. The, the, we're the last people going to Chicago in the building. And I think we're that last. Once we go, I think things will just like probably find a, 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 a baseline. Let find its yeah. level, you know. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm very like my apartment's all boxes. How's the area? Mine, yeah, I compare it to a New York City neighborhood. Um, the chop shops around City Field. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just a bunch of bandos and industry like, and no, it's like um a bunch of places being built. I don't feel uh, unsafe by any means, and it's like. There's a nice little market and stuff or walk around, but it's just like, uh, it's still, it's not, it's not, you won't see a single tourist. That's good. Yeah. I like my spot though. It's cool. It's all right. Rudy, how's it been? It's been good. I just been 
moving in fucking sucks, dude. I still have so many boxes and I've been trying to build my new Twitch setup. So I'm like surrounded by wires constantly and putting together things below a desk is so dehumanizing. Yeah. My knees hurt the second they touch the ground now. Like, yeah, my knees start to hurt and you're like hunched over in like a vulnerable position. Like you can't look swaggy under a desk. No, under a desk is yeah, where secretary like, sucking your cock. Go. Yeah, we're Columbine. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's not one the, one swag. The vulnerable I mean, you're position. not you're one not wrong. It's swag. That one is a swagless. Other. Yeah, that was a swagless event. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's good, though, man. It's awesome. I'm kind of sad. Like when you guys were here last week, it was so fun. And now um, it's a little boring. Yeah. But that'll be, have you, that'll you, change have soon. Have you taken advantage of any amenities in your apartment? <clears throat> um, you go not really. I swam, I've swam once. I get self-conscious about like swimming by myself. Oh yeah. Like being a, just a dude in a pool is odd. A single d- well, you, alone dude. Well, in when the you pool. say swimming, do you mean like actually swimming? No, like if I was in the ocean, it'd be fine. But just going to my building swimming pool by myself, I don't know what to do in the water. I don't know. Yeah, what you, yeah I don't know what you do. I don't. Actually. I don't get the appeal, to be honest. I would want it just simply for the sensation of cooling off. Yeah. Like a jacuzzi is meant to be sat in, but a single dude just in a pool entertaining himself is a bizarre concept yeah, that I don't, I don't think really do anyone it. does. I wouldn't know how to do that. Yeah, a swimming pool is like a fast break mini. You, that's the or like a, a a little mini Snickers. That's the amount of joy you get from it. Yes, you jump in, you get refreshed. No, but when you're with friends or something, playing chicken or throwing a splash yeah, I mean, ball, yeah, that, but that could be, you could be playing activities with friends anywhere with the same appeal. No, not the same. You don't lay lay out and die for a splash ball. That's fun. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but you, it's been good. Crew. What about the uh, good? I'm excited for you guys to get here. Any work on the trash chute? Oh yeah, have you thrown any panties down the trash chute, dude? I've been oh, testing yeah. it out. I've been testing it out with different stuff. You've been um, what would you say? What would right. I say? You guys get to what floor are you on? No, not saying that. Um well, no, wow. no yeah, one's yeah. that <laughs> nobody's that good. Dude, no, trust me. I listen, I know what people are capable of because I'm capable of it. I mean, it must be high up because you're in the middle of a cirrus cloud right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dude, yeah, this. I got a new light coming and I'm really hoping that we can take care of this. Cause this is, it looks cool now, but like, look at my hand. It looks like you're in a, a music video. It looks yeah. infinite. I do. I look like street, I'm, I, I'm like in a P Diddy. Yeah. Music video. I think yeah. I would blend in. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't handle that. I'd be camouflaged. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, I haven't tried the panty maneuver yet. Uh, yet yeah well i mean i think that uh my f- big biggest fear is that it works oh it will because then i would realize that i've been i have a lot more rope than i've been i have a lot more leash than i've huh. thought mm-hmm. you know what i mean i don't never think, I, thought, I don't think it'll work i think it is, would dude? yeah you think that would work no 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 um, do you think, do you think Mook's idea of inviting a girl over pre-date for, yeah, like, before I think, you've I ever think met that's her? cute and funny. And, and, and it did work. Think? Someone DM me. So they used it last weekend and now he has a potential wife. So shout out Whoa, to, shout out to Evan really? Morris and my DM. What did he You're say? A real one. Uh, I'll pull up the DM. Oh, while we're doing shout out, shout out. I think his name was Ryan. Um, I was walking down the street and he, uh, got my attention and he was listening to anus BRG. Whoa. Hell yeah, yeah he was listening Ryan. to us. Yeah, yeah that's I'm, cool. I've hope, never I hope that. his name is Ryan, but he's a nice guy. He lives in the neighborhood. He's, he's like, I'm listening to your podcast right now. So shout Thank out to him. Much, Next Ryan. time you see him, he'll be in a Mook Death Prophecy shirt. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So I, I got a DM on 7 a.m. on Saturday. Sup, big dog? Pulled off your move last night, bringing the girl over before the date for drinks, and it worked to perfection. Stay easy, beast. Have you created an army? I mean, yeah, people are people are lauding him as like a W getter now, which is the, insane. Which yeah, is fucking they, absurd. Yeah. <laughs> they try to like you. People don't know how to just take one step up. Mm-hmm. People really want the the to go from one extreme to the it's other. Not an army. It's Mook a, takes a, a lateral militia. step, and people are so used to these backward leaps that they're like, "Oh, it's a huge dub for Mook who pivoted to the right a tiny bit." 
Yeah. That was I, got, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I got hitters. <laughs> you do have fucking hitters. I got hitters. Is it true that you run the streets of Philly? Yeah, Sass was saying that you guys went to different establishments, like vintage shops, shoe stores, yep. restaurants, and like all the, like the owners, like were like, like talking about you like you were like a made man yeah those are my demons shout out uh my boys on south street we've been running. you've been their accountant like you do like dirty math let's let's back up on that <laughs> we're we're on the airwaves but you know i help them out uh help them with their finances they're a bunch of south street guys so they deal in cash mainly and haven't really you know they don't have like can a, you like wait can you keep going and talking like a, a real philly accent like your mother Yo, dickhead. Good to fucking see you. <laughs> Thanks for checking in, cuz. You and Sass need anything or what? You want to hit Angelo's? I can hook it up if you want. <laughs> wow. You yeah. got shows this weekend or what, dude? We're Did you ever have that through. accent? Uh, no, but it comes out every once in a while in like different words. Like she wolf. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just have a lot of friends in South Philly and uh, they're connected with actual like bad people. Oh. But, but they're good people. You're one in separation. Yes. I'm like a few. Yeah. Nice. You, do you like HelloFresh? I love it. Good. Uh, falls right around the corner, mm -hmm. and HelloFresh is here to help you. I, we have a, a lot of ads today, so I'm wow. kind of, yeah. We're here to help you plan for the busy season ahead with tasty dishes delivered to your door. Simply choose your recipes and pick your delivery date. And lay back and enjoy the last days of summer, knowing your dinner is covered. The key to dinnertime success, variety. HelloFresh. Keeps taste buds on their toes with 40 chef-crafted recipes to select from every week. Family-friendly to fit and wholesome. They've got it all. The whole gamut. This fall, you've got places to be. And standing in the checkout line is not one of them. Uh, leave the meal plan and grocery shopping to HelloFresh. I enjoy all of their meals. I like it's a, it's a, it's an excitement. It's like Christmas morning every time I come home and I see that styrofoam box with like the yeah. dry ice inside. I know, and it's it's a delicious meal, and it's cheaper, way cheaper than what you're spending now, either regardless of its groceries or mm -hmm. delivery. Yeah, yeah. So go to HelloFresh.com slash 50anus, and use code 50anus for 50% off plus free shipping. Big thank you to HelloFresh. Oh, my God. I'm flying to Columbus for a fantasy football draft, 10th year. This is a big, person. the big thing. You guys big, put big on thing. do full festivities. Yeah. Full what fest is it? How are you gonna, what are you going to do this time? Um, so last year to get our draft order, I, I went and bought a bunch of worms and we did worm races. <laughs> so you had a, mm -hmm. everybody had their own poster board with a worm in the middle of the first worm to leave the circle. Got a pick. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then the loser of our league, we do the passing of the losers trophy, which I've talked about this before, maybe on this podcast. Um, it's a, uh, if you lose the fantasy football league, you have to grow out your pubes for a year. And Oof. Wait, what? if you come in dead last in our league, you have to grow out your pubes yeah, for the year. Not, not shaving not, your pubes. Not trimming or shaving. And um, at the draft, you're allowed to shave your pubes and you put them into this glass box that we have. It's like a box for um, for uh, an autographed baseball. It's the mm. pube cube. And then that goes to the, new, the, the newest <laughs> loser. <laughs> so and someone that, is about to deliver like... Someone's been going my for boy, a year. My boy TZ uh, is dropping off the pube cube. So this is like, uh, this is like. Uh, that's his or no, the no, one that's before like seven him. years. Everybody puts their pubes oh, in the pube cube. Oh shit. It's and like. You have to keep this in your nightstand or on that's in full. your desk. Yeah, it's full. It's the size of a baseball right now. Um, but it did backfire this year because I didn't lose my league, but my dad did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so if I lose this year. I have to have a box of my dad's pubes. And you're going to see all my other homies. See, yeah, you're going to see them in there. And this thing isn't airtight. Like, you, there will be prickles that push out. Are, are, are but his... my boy Marcus lost two years in a row. And this whole two years, he's been dating the same girl. She's never once seen his dick. <laughs> she was headbutting a Brillo pad every night. Every fucking night. But he finally, he filled up the majority. Shout out to Marcus. For Obviously, you can tell our week is all light, white guys, but... um. My dad will be adding a, a hint of. I was going to say well, he his will be discernible. It's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no offense to him. That just happens with age. Yeah. Any redhead representation yet? Fuck no. Damn. No. 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 Yeah. So that's we're going to have the passing of that, which will be exciting. My dad can finally. I, I probably just, have to. He, he's going. He's going to go to Columbus for the festivities. Sure is. Nice. I just can't imagine growing them out for a full year. 
That would be uncomfortable. They have a stop. He's you turned Irish. <laughs> That'd be uncomfortable. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Be uncomfortable. I'm stuck in like Philly and yeah. I just, I, I don't know where I'm at. It was from Liverpool. Yeah. Mook yeah, yes. has an accent when he has pubes, but when he shaves him, it's back. Um, oh, no, nicked uh, me balls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. You're crushing, dude. That was pretty good, yeah. <laughs> um, 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 yeah, so I think pubes have a stopping point. I don't think, like, if you grew for, like, four years, they would go to, like, here, right? Interesting. I, I don't know. I think they just get bushier. Like, I don't think it turns into, like, a beard. No, I don't. I think that all... I think all hair has a stopping point of growth, right? I'd have like you like your many... armpit hair doesn't grow down to your elbows. It would be cool if you had like a beard and your dick poked out and then you braided it the bottom of it like a beard. Yeah, it would be really cool. That would be fucking tight. Oh, it would them? be too heavy on your balls, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I went like it's it's dude. I went like my boys after a couple, two years a month. For... A month? I went like a month and it was when I finally put it back down to turf. You go turf? It was a, it was a lot of work. What kind of turf? Uh, the new age turf. Like not, not, not early 2000s turf. New age turf with the rubber beads in you it. You have the rubber pellets in your pubes? Yeah, the ones that cause mm. cancer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get and it. And torn ACLs, yeah. I go turf. I go turf on the main floor and then hardwood floors in the basement. You hardwood floor? How do you even get it to that? Is the basement your gooch? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I never boobs, that boobs. I, I mean, I'm boobs. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> Balls. I keep like a electrocuted mad scientist. Like it's just, but it's kind of sparse. <laughs> um, Same. Yeah, like those no, balls, like those like time balls you touch. Yeah. Like the, Yeah. At the science fiction museum or the just, science yeah, museum? Just like sci- I have scientist hair. <laughs> what, what is happening right now? I, I don't know. I just said balls. science fiction museum. <laughs> oh my God. Um, what, what do you got you, going on? Uh, yeah? Nothing for months. Nothing until January. What's January? Doing a uh, solo vacation. Oh my God. Oh. A 20 day solo That's trip so long. to Southern Thailand. I mean, I'm stay in a <laughs> you hostel just, in how Bangkok. Are, how are you selling that to your girlfriend? That is, that is the worst. She knows that she knows that I'm like, I'm like, like if, do fine in solitude and I could do like, uh, she knows I like geography and I've been always interested <laughs> 20 in 20 days in Bangkok. Yeah. There's solo. a solo. Right. I think you're not. If how I, is that? I want my first solo trip to be immersive culturally and like have a good balance <laughs> with f- but you understand, fun. You understand what people are going to think. Diversity. No, I'm going to do like river tours down the Chow Praia. I'm going to do uh, like the flower markets, all the different temples. All right. So that's two things. What are you going to do with the 18 other days? Little, um, st- you know exactly what people are going to think. What? A solo trip to Bangkok that's for what, 20 I don't days need the, in a hostel. I don't need guilt tripping after that. This is like a I'm not huge, guilt tripping you. This was a huge monumental decision. I mean, what did your girlfriend nervous say when you pitched this. this idea to her? So 20 days is up. Is pending. Um, it's so long. It's pending, but... Uh, the solo vacation I just have to do one but tw- yeah but your first one and I think the first time you've ever left the country for 20 days and not even in an English speaking country you're going to Bangkok you're going to Thailand um, and you know yeah, the reputation my, that has single guys going to Thailand like one dollar was like 30 Thai bots and <laughs> I will probably I'll be on the I'll be traveling a lot so you gotta think like three total days of the 20 will be purely travel that's still so I'll be, i'm gonna go days. down the malay peninsula and maybe sneak into singapore i don't know a solo trip to thailand is like something you see in an article right before someone is under investigation for like a major crime <laughs> yes okay. you're going there to fuck boy, no i'm not boys. no i'm not because you don't want it. You're so you, a, you imagine if my that. first. So you knew about that. No, I've heard. My, imagine if my <laughs> first solo trip was to somewhere like Montana. Like that's boring. You no, got to go that's somewhere. A great vi- first. Solo you got to do trip. a happy medium with. Ver- that's not twenty days in Thailand. Days, yes, is in a happy because medium. it's it's a very good with the it's, maximum. It's, it's it's a perfect balance of very culturally diverse and there's a lot of westernized tourists there and people who live. What are the westernized there. tourists doing? I don't know what they're doing. It's going to be, I'm going to be able to communicate with new people. I'm going to spend a lot of it alone. 
<laughs> and that's the biggest thing. When I'm at the temples and the markets, <laughs> getting the massage, I'm going to be alone. <laughs> The typical thing would just be go to Japan like every other white dude from New York. I, yeah, but that is, they don't have enough tourists. I want to connect with other like like Brits and Canadians. What are and, they all and, doing and, like, there? Kiwis. Are they, where, what are they all going to be doing there? Every, I think that everyone, people backpack. That's what they do in Southeast Asia. They go and backpack and they live life That's not because they, they get do. to their 30s and they're like, wow, I, I can... I'm still young enough to have a lot of energy and pep to do these things. Well, then why don't and you, I might as well you, live my life. Why don't you bring your that's lovely fair. girlfriend? Because it wouldn't be a solo trip. <laughs> the it's backpacking story. Right, what about you guys true. go together and she does her thing solo there and you do your thing solo there? Uh, I'm not doing this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> people are believing I went way Kyle. too hard yesterday. Yeah, on the bracket. They just, we never so, told him it was a lie, but he's not going to find it. That would be the most absurd thing in the world to do. Also, if you say you're doing 20 days in Bangkok, they know exactly yeah, what you're doing. Days is, yeah. They know exactly like a, what you're going to do. It could only mean one thing. You're going to fuck these boys in a sauna. Best case scenario. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? I think that'd be like the the most, the best case scenario for, for a 20 day trip in like the, the least incriminating case scenario. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, guys, be sure to download Rup and Rowdy. Pay for it. Get it on YouTube. Join us in the chat. That'll be fun. Uh, all kinds of fighters. A lot of O and O guys. It's in Wheeling, West Virginia. So you'll yeah. see. You'll see my dad ringside. He, my dad is going ringside. Oh, they got him a VIP that's crazy. pass. Yeah, yeah. he's excited. He's going to be on camera. You'll see Nick's dad, his reactions. We oh, he big hates fights. Violence. Yeah, that'll be funny. Yeah. Um, and you guys have a bet. Right? We have our own bet. Yeah. Yak bet on Wheels of Death versus the popular. I'm, I'm on team Wheels and of I Death. I have no idea how it's going to go. I love how the, the popular is such a bad name that you realize you, it makes you forget how bad Wheels of Death is. Yeah. Wheels of Death has no implication <laughs> to makes, fighting. No, no. That's like a twisted metal name. Yeah. You what? You don't can't agree with that. You don't know oh, what I'm talking about. Fucking no. That's fine. Um. Anything else? Any house at Mook? Any dubs? I got a lot of housekeeping. You bombed the other night, didn't you? Did we talk about that? You no. When? I mean, Where? Yeah. I think you bombed. You text us that you bombed one. Oh no, no, we talked about that. You're no. walking oh, in I the rain. You, I thought you were talking about when we did our sketch. That. Uh, oh no, we'll no, out. out of order. Yeah, we'll be in that. That'll be that's out right now. Yeah, so the, they'll already see it, but we did a mime sketch, and I thought I bombed being a mime. You did not bomb oh, being yeah. a mime. I thought, mime. <laughs> but it did make me. I, we still have those mime costumes, and I kind of want to do. Yeah, they're right here. I, I kind of want to do a uh, TikTok, where if you have any hookups at a comedy club, I'd like to film this. It's like uh, now introducing uh, Nick the mime, and I go up there as a mime, and then I just go, "What's up, guys?" And then it just cuts. <laughs> <laughs> it just ends. <laughs> Yes, I think that's a funny TikTok. I would probably do well. We could make that. What work. was the pussy thing you said? The pussy thing, the hypothetical, like. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I sent a Snapchat to all the girls in my contacts of uh, just be like, I wish I could tell everybody how good your pussy was. I just painted <laughs> up as a mime. <laughs> I, didn't, I, <laughs> I didn't actually do that, obviously, but I thought oh, that would yeah, be funny. Go hard. Someone's got to do that. I wish I could tell. I wish I could tell the world how good your pussy <laughs> that is. Needs to, I need to see that image of somebody doing. I sent oh. to my boy Nico. I don't kiss and tell though. And it was just a picture of me as a mom. Oh, that'll be the TikTok. Well, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, Jesus. Christ. Was that the French? Is that their fucking thing? Miming? Did they come up with the? Yeah. Um. They wear striped shirts and berets, but I don't know if they were yeah, mimes. I've always just associated with French people. It's a wild idea for it to be like such a popular like well, trope of entertainment. Yeah, yeah, well, when they look like they're they're you know, they're stuck in a fucking cargo box, it looks, <laughs> looks kind of cool for 5 It's kind of cool. Yeah. I think it'll be funny. Yeah, it is cool. It'd also be funny to do a sketch with a mime with a sign language interpreter next to him just doing the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, what else do we have on housekeeping? Uh, Gen 4, KB. Oh, we're in limbo between three and four, and I'm not guilty at all. I don't feel any guilt. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to, dude. You're the only Who person. Said, yeah, everyone's trying that. to, yeah, I don't feel any guilt. It makes me think you're very guilty. guilty. <laughs> yeah, it destroys <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, still uh, working out the kinks. Yeah, yeah, I went to Tahoe for a wedding. It was beautiful, and I relapsed on 20 cocktails, and... <laughs> in a stizzies and 
I did Stizzy's did you have the fun? next day and I did Stizzy's yesterday and I love Stizzy's and yeah. I love the feeling of being high on cannabis and um, I love being drunk as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, it makes yeah, it things rocks. a lot better. It makes things a lot more fun. It rocks. Um, so why stop? Has your, have you been going to the gym less since you've been off the pro? I, I haven't been going as hard in the gym. It's just a slippery slope. Are you I listening to music? Taking, I haven't had a new song in years. I, I'm too lazy to find new songs. It's kind of hard and daunting. No. I got a planet fitness. Isn't for me. I feel I finally feel like I'm above it, not based on strength or income, but like the people there just don't like there was a couple making out <laughs> right in the crevice is there's tiny crevices. I was doing pull ups. There's a couple making out right on this little windowsill on the 27th street planet fitness. You know, you read it's, it's tight and they're just making out while I'm doing, I'm staring them in the eyes while they're making out. <laughs> And I and they're and then like the boy. <laughs> and then that the boy, might be weirder of you. They, they were making out on the windowsill right in front of me. And then the boy gets on the like the hanging ab machine, and the girl is behind him and like it keeps like poking him in the butt and laughing and then looking at me for approval. And Did they looked the special lad. They didn't look. Like, oh. They looked like one point five standard deviation above Down syndrome, like not quite Down syndrome. Like bunny like slope you buried, syndrome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they weren't there. But the point is, I'm not making fun of them or I am because it, for not for their disability or lack thereof, but for the fact that they were making out at Planet Fitness and I can't have that at my gym. It's fair. Yeah. Fair point. Um, anus, uh, the roast of Glenn Qu Quagmire. Oh, oh, play this shit. This is Dude, <laughs> somebody AI'd our podcast and they did the roast of Glenn Quagmire. I'll, I'll link the uh, YouTube in the description. I will play it. Yeah, play that. Oh my God. Yeah, it's crazy. Welcome back to another episode of a new untold story. Episode 401. We have a special guest today. And for those not watching on YouTube, I'm sorry, and, but it's Glenn fucking Quagmire. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> <laughs> We got him. Whoa, this made me like I got starstruck yeah. hearing myself talking to Quagmire. Yeah. Oh, you listen to the pod? No, but I'm assuming it's about anuses, right? Not necessarily. I mean, we've spoken extensively about Kyle's sticky shits and my ribbon shaped shits. But anus stands for a new untold story. Oh, for fuck's sake. So let me guess KFC Radio has nothing to do with Kentucky Fried Chicken? No, but some can say that would be better material. Well, shit, I'm already here. So let's get into it, boys. Giggity! I was out late last night and didn't have time to write the news today. Looks like I'm the prepared cookie today. <laughs> the prepared cookie! <laughs> the fuck? Looks like, looks like I'm, I'm the prepared cookie. I'm already here. So oh, say, I accidentally rewound. Giggity! I was out late last night and didn't have time to write the news today. Looks like I'm the prepared cookie today. <laughs> What the hell are you doing under my chin, Tarani? Oh, for fuck's sake. How the hell did you even hide it under there? Sleight of hand, baby. Sleight of hand. <laughs> oh, Here shit. Here we go, boys. Oh, shit. Chuck it got Norris me. once kicked a horse in the chin, and the giraffe, as we know it, was born. Chuck Norris once kicked Glenn Quagmire in the chin, and he went on to lick Mook's Jumbo Queen's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? I think that's awesome. <laughs> That was, awesome. that was insane. That was nuts. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be out of a job. That so was so fast. realistic. Yeah, we're so fucked. Because like, if if AI us can get Quagmire as a guest and we can't get anybody, yeah, that was, and that's exactly what, how we would have responded. I would have written that joke about. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, oh. It's also labeled as anus episode four hundred and one, so it's a future. Oh shit! They're okay. predicting we get Quag we get Quagmire. Yeah. Have you yeah. bumped into him at all? I just said I saw him at Jack's Boy Frito with <laughs> Mod Apatow. <laughs> what was he doing? Uh, I just went right to Dumois' DMs. I didn't even get to take in what he was doing. He probably had like a layover here because he's yeah, BJ Novak. Was I don't know if he was with them or just talking to them, but it, I don't know. Were they like a couple? Mod was wearing headphones. Oh. So I don't know if it was like romantic or what. Oh, okay. Maybe business. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. We'll get him. Yeah. If anybody has a connection with Quagmire, please, I would really love to get him. Yeah. Yeah. Get him out of Quahog. <laughs> 
We'd go to him too. We I'd go to I'd him. Go we to we him. do a live yeah. show from the fucking clam, dude. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Any any other housekeeping? Uh, tonight, if you're listening to this right now, we're streaming with Maresh. Mm. Maybe. Oh, tonight. Yes. Yeah. Thursday tonight. Yeah. Okay. And last but not least, a little uh, me check. I was not allowed to talk about Mo Bamba on stage this weekend, but right. I came out to it, the song, every single fucking uh, time. Did it hit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. getting mooked very hard. Yeah. It was awesome. Did your parents ask why you chose that song? Nope. Give me, like, did you did you have any inclination your parents were going to go to the show? So what happened was Thursday, Gardini was like, hey, I saw some older people that looked like you. I think they were at the show and saw your set. So I texted my brother. I was like, were they there? And he was like, maybe yes, maybe no. That means yes. So I thought yes. And then I texted them after the show and said, how was the show? Left me on red for until four o'clock the next day. So I finally called my mom and I was like, were you at the show last night? She was like, no, dickhead. I was bartending. <laughs> and I was like, OK, are you coming again? She's like, I didn't know you had shows this weekend. So I'll, wait, I'll, you guys never even spoke at this show. So. As of right now, in this moment, Friday afternoon, I think that they, I thought that they were at the show originally that night. You don't, it was like, um, you just, you could, you didn't acknowledge them visually. I didn't see, you can't see anything. Oh, there. So I wow. got off stage Thursday, thought they were at the show. They didn't answer my text Thursday night when I said, how was the show? Friday, oh, no. <laughs> Friday, I call my mom and I'm like, were you at the show last night? Cause I needed to know it wasn't confirmed fully. And she was like, no, but do you have shows this weekend? We'll come Saturday. Which one should we go to? I was like, early show. Expecting them to come Saturday. Friday night, I get off stage and my mom sends me that group photo of 11 of my family members in MOOC shirts. So they saw me, but they wanted to make sure that. You didn't have that in your head. Yes. Dwayne, you bet. Yeah. Yes. Oh, good family. Yeah. Good family. It's heartwarming that it's gone from your parents not being able to know that. Uh. You do comedy to them coming to your show in your merch. Yeah, that was cool. It's wow, really yeah. cool. Yeah, that's really cool. And I, a guy who went to your live show sent me a picture of him and your dad. Yep, Tyler. Shout yeah. out Tyler. Shout, shout, shout out, out to Tyler, Tyler from yeah. Wheeling. Yeah, shout out to all the all the people that came out to Philly. It was a super fun weekend. Um, oh yeah, felt a lot of love. Big that's shout. Good. That's good. Uh, next week, last episode from New York City. Yeah, is it? Yep. We have okay, right. Well, we have the week of the 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st in August. Okay. Oh, yeah. So maybe not. Okay. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. All right. Well, until then, God bless. Yep.